All right, so I have this problem. I know the equation to calculate the acceleration due to gravity is little g, the acceleration due to gravity, is capital G, the gravitational constant, which I have here, uh, multiplied by m, which is the mass of the object you're being pulled towards in kilograms. And r in that equation is the distance towards the center of the object, so that's divided by r squared. So I want to see the g resulting from every combination of m's being 1 to 1,000 in steps of 1 with units of kilograms, r's being 1 times 10 to the 5th to 1 times 10 to the 20th in steps of 1,000 with units of kilometers. So how could I do this? Well, I could do a plot because um, I just want to see the results. But I probably don't want a line, right? I don't want like a 2D line, X and Y, because I've got multiple parameters I'm going over here. I've got M's and R's. So I'll need a 3D plot where my X and Y are M and R. And then my Z is my little g but with this i don't just have a single m and a single r i have a set of m's and a set of r's that i want to vary over and so we know this is where i want to apply mesh grid because i want to construct a big mesh here that then has the z the g calculated each of these combinations of m's and r's right because i want to see the g resulting from every combination of m's and r's so i know m i'll say is one colon one colon one thousand because starts at one steps of one and ends at one thousand my r is 1 e 5 to 1 e 20 but i want it in steps of 1000 oh yeah there we are 1 e 20 but this is in kilometers and the initial r is in meters so i'll multiply by a thousand meters per kilometer and then I'll get meters from here. So I can use mesh grid here because I know I'm gonna need a surface plot like this. I can say M out, R out equals mesh grid of M R. And then I can do G equals capital G and I'll define that up here. That's just what it specifies here. G dot times M dot divided by and then R dot squared. Okay. So then I can do a surf of M I want x to be m, y to be r, and z to be g, then that's exactly what I do. So let's pull this up in MATLAB and run it and see how it looks. So let's pull up MATLAB. Okay. So g, you know, is 6.6, 6. 6.6, 6. 6. 7, 4 times 10 to the negative 11. And this is meters cubed divided by kilogram second squared. Now I've got my M is one colon one thousand like we found. And show this. Okay, so this M is kilograms. 
Then I got my R is 1E5, 1000, 2, 1E20. And then this multiplied by 1000 for my meters. Then I've got M out, R out equals mesh grid of M R. And if I recall with mesh grid, there's no reason I couldn't do R out M out was mesh grid of R M because it just matters that R out is in the same location as R. So if R out is first, so is R. Okay, and then I can do G is G dot multiplied by M dot divided by R squared. So there we are. Suppress those and do surf of M out, R out, and G. Because of course these are supposed to be the M and R from here, so M out and R out. And here we go, let's see. Quest array exceeds the maximum possible variable size. Ah, so let's uh, say in our problem, we're gonna redefine it real quick, we're gonna Say so the biggest step, or the step is 1e5 instead. Let's see if that works. Nope, still too big. Take this to 1e10. Uh, let's take this to 1e8. There we go. So, looks like we're going to take a second here. of incompatible size of course I gotta do M out R out and run this again it's gonna be quite slow out of memory so we're gonna go with a simpler example here and do 1e 2 20 Four, and it's going to be 1e1 instead. So let's say 1e2. So run this again, and let's not run out of memory this time. The joy of computer programs. So we're going to try some simpler numbers here. We're going to do uh, R from 1 to 24 in steps of a hundred. So one, one e four. Yep. Steps of a hundred. One one thousand point six seven four e minus eleven. Okay. Question is six point six seven four e minus eleven. We're fine with that. Just wanted to double check because if I look up doc for double. Do have a 
minimum size, right? But it's b to minus 308, so no problem there. So let's run this again. And let me, in fact, just do a lot simpler. Let's do one to thousand. Yeah, 100. Why not? Run this. Make sure it runs without any errors. So it's not actually I need to put in a different variable somewhere or something. It is loading. Okay, let's do this. One, comment this out. Make it one. Does this simplify it? Hasn't quite gotten to this yet. And I am going to disp here one, disp two. Disp here three, disp here four. So I can keep track of where it is at. So it's just getting hung up on the plotting. Which makes sense because it has a few points there. 100. Thousand by one thousand. Okay, so you may have noticed that is a hundred thousand when this should be one hundred. So uh, it should be this matrix multiplied by one thousand, not the one hundred multiplied by a thousand. So this should basically fix all our issues. I run this. Yeah, there we are. And it's a big black mesh because it's just got so many points. So I'll use lens space one 100 and just say 100 points here instead see if that's enough to to give me something more viable and we'll increase this again 1e5 e to 1e20 see if that's having any problems nope that works just fine so we've got this huge mesh but because we don't have so many points it is okay with with showing the color because there's not all of the black little grids there so yeah at each of these points you can see it's really um accelerating up here because if i do a x label m y label R and Z label G and this. So I've got a high M and a low R that makes this a huge number. So realistically what I want to do here is not start out as at quite so low of an R so I can see some variance here. Like if I do this still so extreme right at the edge here that it looks like it's just a right angle right you can barely see the curve if i were to increase this to like this then we could actually see the slant there basically just zooming in on that one period the crux point where it's really accelerating up so anyway with all those troubles we can illustrate some of the issues you may run into programming with lots of big numbers trying to plot different things like that really being able to visualize the data where we tried initially the one set of numbers we weren't really able to see 
maybe what we most cared about because the the radius was so low that it uh, caused divide by the radius squared to be humongous and uh, really escalated this value. So there we go. Important things to note when you are troubleshooting problems. Thanks. Hope you learned something.